This is you, sad, upset at yourself because guess what? You don't know how to keyframe in Premiere Pro, but this can all change in a couple minutes and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. How to keyframe even better in Premiere Pro. Alright, open up Premiere Pro and create a text layer by either pressing Ctrl T or by grabbing the text symbol from the toolbar. Now I'm choosing to use a text layer in this video because I personally think it's the best way to practice and get better at keyframing. Okay, so before you actually do any keyframing, go to the effects and add transform. Not only does it allow you to add motion blur, but it also allows you to make presets, which is point number two. Go to the beginning of the text layer and click on position and scale, then use your right arrow key to skip ahead 40 frames. Next, scale your text up to about 150, and now you should have a really simple text animation. So now that you have done that, here's how you actually make it have some life. So hover over the last two keyframes and choose ease in, and the same thing for the first two, but choose ease out. Your text layer should gradually be getting more speed as it eases out, and then slows down as it eases into the last two keyframes, making it look much, much smoother. But say you want your text to have a little bounce to it. Click these two small arrows on position and scale, and this is where velocity comes in. A lot of people see this and immediately go, nope but it's actually really simple. So if we look at the text animation here, we can see that this curve actually goes up, showing a speed increase and then down, showing a decrease. To adjust how fast the speed increases, simply drag this blue line out and it will cause a text layer to take longer getting bigger. You can also do the same thing on the other side, making your text layer do the complete opposite. And before I move on, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, I wish, but I would however like to promote my Discord server. Since I was 10 years old, I've always wanted to create a community for video editors, but it was never successful, and obviously, if you are still watching this video, you are an editor yourself, so here's your chance to help me achieve my dream. I've created a Discord server specifically for video editors to talk, share ideas, and to help each other out. Totally not based around my YouTube channel at all. This server actually has been growing quite a bit in the last couple of days, so to celebrate that growth, I'm giving out an OG role to anyone who joins and supports the channel over the next month. There's one thing I forgot to mention about my Discord server, I'm currently hosting a video editing competition for the month of June. There will be a prize, but you're gonna have to join the server if you want to know what it is. So join now, link in the description, and now back to the video. As I was saying, if you move up a little bit, then you can also do the same thing with the scale option, but the only difference is that instead of increasing or decreasing your speed, you're actually changing how big the text gets. So if I pull this blue line down, then the text layer will actually get smaller and then get bigger over time. Like I said earlier, keyframing with velocity is actually really simple, it just requires some practice and getting used to. A couple days ago, I released a video on how to edit like game theory, so please go check that out since this video is directly connected to that one. Also, I know I don't mention it often, but uh, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, that'd be amazing. 